Hello guys, how's it going? Rabbit Q here again. Love you guys. Oh, I usually say that afterwards. Anyway, so I'm getting to know you in kink. Now, a lot of people get introduced to new people. It's all very exciting. You know, new playground, new things. Shiny, shiny, shiny. But I get interesting questions on how it's like, oh, I would like to get to know Dom before we play, their likes, dislikes, know them as a person, all sorts of other stuff. You know, what questions should I ask? I said, well, kind of the same questions you would ask any person normally. Um, you would ask those questions. Um, I came up with a lot of good things, like the usual getting to know you, what do you like to do, what do you, what, you know, what's your work, all that sort of stuff. And I was there thinking, kind of, both of you have probably been through this for, you know, on and off for a long time, asking the same sort of questions. And here I am thinking, well, how about silence? Silence can be very telling. Um, kind of pulp fiction, you know. You know when you've uh, found the... <laughs> an interesting person when you can both just shut the fuck up and enjoy the silence you know it's not so awkward it might be awkward at first but it's an interesting thing it had me thinking that you know perhaps you know after asking a few questions um, you be quiet and listen to them talk or just enjoy their company um, and don't speak to fill in the silence let you know see what they come up with if you find yourself continually trying to fill in the silence, just be quiet for a second. Uh, look around, actually look at them, um, what they do, um, how they're reacting. If they kind of relax into the silence, then you know that they're really comfortable and just, just relax into it as well. Um, it means that you know they're, they're, they'll look at you in a different light after all the barrage of questions. As um, flattering and interesting as it is, as quick as that is easy I don't know to get things over and done with so you got all the information um, I find that mm, probably being in somebody's company and presence and just watching how they are is to me more informative about them than asking like all the pointed questions you can you can ask the pointed questions but you know actually seeing them rather than a kink um, is, is of great importance to me. So, have you been introduced to new people or found new people or wanting to get to know new people? Have you run through the same sort of questions going through your head all the time? Um, can you think of other things that are different or different ways you could phrase those questions or not ask questions? And just sort of get to know them and, and make observations about things like if you meet somebody um, say not really a coffee date or anything talk about things um, like say what you read in newspaper what you saw uh, latest movie that you saw something like that um, it doesn't have to be full like fully like intellectual but if it be just a point of interest say you know go for a walk through like have a coffee go for a walk through the park and go hey look what do you think of these flowers you know do you like the walk see how they are what they look at whether they're just enjoying your company or not whether they can actually slow down enough to enjoy your company I don't know so what questions have you had how can you rephrase them what sort of questions do people ask you um, I mean yeah, you would have a lot of people ask you the same sort of questions. Are they asking you the same sort of questions? And are you providing the same sort of answers? And are you getting into the same sort of relationships and not asking different things, you know? Um, that's the thing I, I have noticed is that there's some people that cycle through and have the same relationships, different people, maybe some different situations, but the same sort of relationships, same sort of attitude. I wonder about the same sort of questions that they get asked leading into those relationships. And um, if they have the same sort of answers, you know, because people change over time, their kinks change, they change, you know, um, someone I've known on and off for a while, like quite a few years, just really getting to know them now. Um, and they've, they've changed a bit, I think, 
from what they first thought. Um, they used to have things um, that they were interested in, but now it's changing because I want to explore different things. So, um, yeah. So getting to know somebody. Um, what level do you want to get to know them at is also a good thing for figuring out what sort of questions you want to ask them, whether it's just for the kink level or it's for a, uh, a longer term, deeper, meaningful relationship. And keeping in mind, guys, this takes time, okay? It takes time. And my arm's getting sore from holding the camera up. <laughs> so just take your time. Uh, write down the list of questions if you're one of those people that likes to write of things that you ask people usually. Think about ways to rephrase them. Think about other questions that you wouldn't ask or don't ask that you might be curious about. Think of the questions that people ask you. Think of the questions you would like to be asked. Um, write them down and you know experiment with them. And also think about not asking questions and not saying anything. Silence. Silence. <laughs> Silence is silver, it's called duct tape. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, silence, because sometimes you can read a lot more into somebody's company than words can ever mean or say or convey, okay? Looks like it's, it's threatening showers, which will be good for the farmers out back. They need it. It's very dry, and, um, very drowsy. I want them to go on with the Bradman scheme. Still full on thing to drought proof. Australia. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Think about that, getting to know people, okay? Love you guys. Bye.